Good morning, and we're in Acts chapter 2, verses 22 through 28. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. And uh, so we start off with Peter wanting to get people's attention, and he spoke as if he had something important to say. Some something some teachers fail to do, uh, say say uh, important things. Mighty works is a power. Uh, wonders are things that cause us to watch, and signs always point to something that's greater. Mighty works or miracles is power. Wonders are things that cause us to watch, and signs point to something greater, and it's namely God. This Jesus, delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. Peter knew that Jesus' death was in God's plan, but evil men carried it out. Uh, God can use evil for good. At the same time, those who rejected him are called for his execution and were responsible uh, actions were in lawless hands. God raised him up, loosing the pains of death uh, because it was not possible for him to be held by it. The word pains uh, is actually the word birth pains. And so death is a rebirth time. In this sense, the tomb was a womb for Jesus. Resurrection means to stand up, to prepare for a journey. Uh, the dead come back to life. So here, the resurrection was a beginning, not an end. And something happens to you, uh, you don't do it yourself. Uh, you are caused to be born. And the same thing is you are caused to be born again.